Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I'm having a very quick look at Disco Diffusion. I am, of course, running it locally because I'm that sort of person. And in this particular video, I'm mostly going to be looking at Portrait Generator. Yes, the new one, Portrait Generator 1.5, because reasons. Yes, you can, you can make faces much like this one, I know, and then you can animate them and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, so let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so here we are with Disco Diffusion version 5.6 now with Portrait Generator V001, although we're going to be upgrading this to version 1.5. How exciting, eh? How exciting. All right, but before we dig into uh, Disco Diffusion, we're just going to have a look at what we actually need to do to get this set up and running locally with some lovely portraits. So, of course, local runtime doesn't time out, yeah? And you can use your normal Google Colab because it's you're not actually using pro or or free you're using your local runtime so um yeah so no need to have pro you can just do things locally and it's fine anyway so uh, my environment as you may already know is ubuntu 2004 i am using an nvidia gpu and of course i've got the nvidia gpu drivers already installed and the cuda toolkit as well and you're going to need those installed before you do any of this because otherwise it's not going to work anaconda as well i've also got for my new virtual python environment and as you may be aware, I'm exceptional at creating new names for new Conda environments. So here I am Conda create minus minus name, Disco Diffusion Python 3.9. You can, of course, give it any name you like and do not forget to activate your new Conda environment. Otherwise, things will get a little bit confusing. You do that every time you want to uh, log into Disco Diffusion and do your things. Yeah. OK, so the initial install, you will need a PyTorch. I've got PyTorch installed from the PyTorch website instructions here. So I go to install. I want the latest one, 112. I'm using pip. I'm using CUDA 11.6, even though I've got NVIDIA CUDA 11.7 installed. It's absolutely fine. It works. So there's there's your command. You can just copy and paste that in. OK, yeah. OK, right. So that's PyTorch. You'll also want to install Jupyter Notebook and uh, Jupyter over W. Yeah, all that stuff. Right. OK. So this is in here, yeah? So when you go connect to a local runtime, you've got to follow these instructions. So if you if you click on that, that's this is this is basically what I'm doing, yeah? Yeah, okay. So that's the Jupyter HTTP over WS extension that you install, yeah? And also Jupyter, and then, then you start it like that, yeah? Yeah, okay, and then connect to a runtime. So all the instructions are there in Google Colab, should you wish to follow them from there as well. But there are a couple of other little things that you need to install for Disco Diffusion as well, like OpenCV Python, Pandas. Uh, I found that installing OpenClipTorch as well locally works a lot better, I like that with the pip install, um, and ditto with the PyTorch 3D as well. Okay, so as you've just seen, you then need to enable that server extension. You only need to do that once, yeah? So each time you run it, you don't, you know, just, just do that once, it's fine. Then you can start your Jupyter Notebook. Now, because that's a long line that I, I can't be bothered to remember each time I've, I've put it into a little script there yeah so disco local so each time I want to start my local I, I just I just run that yeah okay excellent that opens a new web page don't need that but what we do need is this URL so let's copy this copy link I'm going to put that link in there there we go and we're going to connect fantastic stuff Right, so that's that's got me connected to my local runtime. No timing out or anything like that. No extra costs. It's it's all fine. So what what do we need now? What do we need now? Well, we need the new Portrait Generator 1.5 custom model, don't we? Yeah, the links are of course down in the description. Anyway, so here here it is over on Twitter. I suggest giving this person a follow. I'm I'm following them. You should do that as well. Okay, so there it is. Portrait Generator version 1.5 release. Yeah. So you click on that link and that'll take you over to the Hugging Face site and you can download that file there. As you can see, it's 558 meg, it was released seven days ago, so it's all brand new and fresh. Yeah, yeah, okay, so there you go. And there's also some instructions there. It's, it's a little bit teeny tiny on the Twitters, so don't worry, I've, I've downloaded it so it's big. Yeah, all right, okay, so we're, we're just gonna do this first. We're just gonna do this first. And uh, this, is, this is just setting up our custom model. Right, so I'm gonna... Uh, Gonna do some little things in here. Custom, yes. I want the custom model, that's fine, okay. Now, I downloaded it into my models directory. So that's that's the name of my model there, okay. So I, I put the word portrait in front of it because I'm like that, yeah, okay. So that's that's there, models, portrait, gen, 15 EMA, yeah, yeah, okay. Now, I've also added a little bit of uh, ResNet 101 in there as well because I like that. But uh, the main thing that you need to do next 
is scroll all the way down to custom model settings yeah so make that big and then make it exactly the same as that yeah yeah okay so we've got these attention resolutions 32 16 and 8 yeah got the image size as 512 yeah you got the num heads as 4 yeah and you've added this res block up down to true and you've also set use scale shift norm to true as well yeah so everything just like in that picture yeah yeah okay right excellent okay so that that's got your new custom model going you're now on portrait generator 1.5 excellent stuff so let's have a look at some of the other little settings we've got up here and uh yeah so i'll, I'll just make some of those a little bit smaller uh, now one thing i do is turn the secondary model off so use secondary model turn that off as mentioned i also turn resnet 101 on okay those those for me are generally speaking the best settings so that's that's fast and it's a decent quality just those four uh, you can turn all of those on if you want and and try and get a better quality picture out of it but honestly i found it doesn't make that much difference those those four absolutely fine um if you are using vitel 14 or vitel 14 336 or resnet 50 x64 those all need a lot of vram so you'll, you'll need a 3090 like me or a, a colab pro and, and yeah a, a, at least 24 gig of vram if you're if you're turning a bunch of stuff on um you can still enable those if you haven't got that much vram but you'll have to turn the cuts down so uh, it doesn't go oom yes you don't want an out of memory experience because it won't work it won't work so we'll just make that a little bit smaller because we've changed that already now the batch name i'm doing this nerdy because that's that's my batch name uh steps i have changed to 100 because you don't need you don't need that many steps on this uh, I've also dropped the clip guidance scale from the default 5000 down to 2500 because, well, more than that doesn't seem to make much difference. Uh, TV scale, I tend to leave at zero. Range scale, fine at 150. Saturation scale, eh, you can play with it a little bit. Uh, 0 to 150 tends to be fine, but yeah, I, I just leave it at zero, to be honest. Uh, cut end batches will change a little bit later. Uh, that's basically how often you gradient accumulate. Normally, I like to switch it to one, but I'll keep it at four for the default, just because that's how it starts. Uses up a little bit less memory. Uh, skip steps, you may also want to play with a little bit as well. So you can go down to one or two and maybe up as high as 15 or 20. But yeah, for the most part, 10 is pretty good. Uh, now you've got these extra settings down here as well. We're not we're not doing animations. We're just making we're just making straight portraits. Uh, so for the most part, we ignore most of those, all, all of those, all of those, apart from your cut overview. So as mentioned, if you're using Vitel 14 or Resonant 50 X4, X64, you may want to drop your number of cuts there. So for example, 12. That's that's quite high. So if you if you get an oom, you can drop that to eight. Yeah, and then then you won't get your oom. Yeah, depending on how much VRAM you've got, just just keep making it smaller. Uh, cut power one is okay um I, I sometimes drop it down to 0 0.5 you get a sort of little bit more coherency with 0 0.5 but one one is okay uh and then that's that's about it so the next thing that you'll need to do obviously is change your prompt yes because we're doing we're doing portraits here so here i have a, a beautiful portrait painting of a handsome man by uh, by greg and thomas and i'm using a pastel color scheme yeah yeah Okay, uh, I've also changed the display rate to 10 because then you can see it doing things uh, and number of batches down to one. I also turn the uh, right down at the bottom, right down at the bottom, the skip video as well. We turn that off, we turn that off. Right, so let's let's fire this thing up, shall we? All right, so just doing control and F9 there or you can do runtime, run all and that, that'll set everything up for you. Now, the very first time you run that, it's going to take a little while because it will go in, it'll do all this stuff It'll do, all, it'll do all this setup for you. It'll download all these models. If you've never used Vit B32 or any of these things before, it'll download and you'll see it downloading all the bits and pieces here. It'll say, yeah, I'm downloading this. So it may take five or 10 minutes just for you to download everything. I, of course, have used a load of this stuff before. So it has already downloaded. So let's scroll down and we should we should see it. There we go. OK, so it's, it's generating already. And that's that's going about 1.15 seconds per iteration, which isn't too bad. It's not too bad. And you can also see that same image there in progress.png. So that, that's your progress. And then eventually, eventually, when it's finished doing things, uh, you've got images out and it will go into uh, the nerdy one. So it hasn't finished yet, but that's that's where it will go. So here we can see it, it, it's it's coming along nicely, isn't it? There we go. That's uh, yeah, that, that is a picture of a man. So um, that's that's going to take another 48 seconds. So I'm just going to modify time slightly and and let this get to the end.
Okay, there. So we got a successful execution. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so that was about 1.3 seconds per iteration. Yeah, it goes down to about just under 0.6. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so let's have a look at these cuts. Let's have a look at these cuts. The, the other thing that I usually do. So cut end batches. Yeah, gradient accumulate every four. Nah, nah. Let's do it every one, shall we? Let's do it every one. And uh, this one, we'll, uh, we'll bump this up to uh, 48. And we'll have that on 16. Same over here. We'll have that on 16. We'll have that on 48. And then we'll just run that again. Ching. Okay. We'll scroll down. So exactly the same sort of thing. And we can just see what difference that makes. Not very much difference, but it, it should be just a teensy, teensy, tiny bit faster. So rather than... 1.3 uh, seconds per iteration here as you can see we've got 1.1 iterations per second yeah yeah so it's a, it, it's a it's a little bit faster because you're not you're not doing it in batches you're doing everything all in one go so uh, yeah yeah no need to do that so but it, it's an option if you've got the vram obviously it uses more vram before it was using about 6 gig of vram now it's using about 11 so yeah yeah just an option for you if you want things to go a little bit faster chunk the batches down, throw the uh, throw the cut number up, and uh, you'll, you'll get a bit of a performance boost out of there. And as you can see, the quality is still exactly the same because we've just timed everything by four. That's that's how it works. That's, yeah, anyway. So there you go. Disco Diffusion 5.6, now with Portrait Generator 1.5. I know, right? So yeah, go and uh, create some portraits and have an incredible amount of fun. Rodent out for now.